Hi, this is lead code question. Count palindromic subsequences. And this is the last question of uh, bi weekly contest uh, 92. So you are given a string of uh, digits. These digits are from 0 to 9. And you need to find the number of uh, subsequences of uh, length 5 that are palindromic. So for example, if we take this one, and this 0, 3, 0, 1, this will form the subsequence 1, 0, 3, 0, 1. And this is of length uh, 5, and it's palindromic because if you read it from the left, it will be the same as if you read it from uh, the right. So we need to find uh, the number of subsequences in the string of length 5 and that are palindromic. How can we solve this? So imagine for any entry in the string, let's say this uh, 0, if we know the number of uh, uh, subsequences of uh, type for example 0 1 in the left side of uh, 0 we know there are four uh, subsequences of uh, 0 1 and in the right side let's say we know that there are three subsequences of uh, form 1 0 for example this is one this is zero and so this pattern will form we have zero one in the left we have zero in the center and we have one zero in the right so this is of uh, length five and it's uh, palindromic so, and we know there are four uh, zero one in the left three one zero in the right so we can add to our answer four multiplied by three equal to twelve uh, subsequences and if we know for um, the other pattern like uh, two two in the left side we know for two two let's see here two two in the left side of zero let's say we have uh, five two two and in the right side there is uh, six two two pattern and this pattern the left is two two the center is zero the right is two two so again this is palindromic and we can add to our answer five multiply by six well, 30 we uh, can add this also to our answer so we need to know the count for all the permutation of uh, the numbers like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 9 0 so we have 10 multiplied by 10 equal 100 permutation we need to know the count of each uh, subsequence of uh, this permutation in the left side and also in th the reverse of it in the right side so if we have x y in the left we need to know y x in uh, the right side uh, so here one zero in the right we need to know zero one the count of each uh, of these pattern and we can add the multiplication into our answer and we will do this for every entry in the string so to do that we need to uh, calculate um, two table the first one is uh, prefix table and this will contain the number of uh, uh, permutations in the left side of uh, the entry uh, or
for the element in the string this this uh, vector of shape n n is the length of the string multiply by 10 because we have 10 digits multiply by 10 by this we cover all uh, the permutation so when when you say prefix of um, 3 of zero of two equal five this means that uh, up to index three zero one two three this index we have five patterns and this pattern is zero two because this is zero this is two we have five uh, permutations in the left of uh, it that forms this uh, pattern uh, the same we need another table for uh, suffix uh, and this table is again of uh, size uh, n multiply by 10 multiply by 10 and when we say for example suffix of uh, uh, 5 of 1 of uh, 4 equal 10 this means that we have 10 patterns of the form 1 4 in the right side of uh, the index 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so from in this uh, region we have uh, 10 patterns of the form uh, 1 4 so in order to calculate this uh, these uh, tables for example the prefix table we need to loop over the string or to iterate from left uh, to right and while iterating over the element we have a counter for every digit this counter will uh, maintain the number of uh, digits uh, so far so example for example if i am at index zero up to this index we have two ones so the number of one equal two and we have uh, one three the number of three is one we have one four we have uh, one six we have one eight and we have uh, one two and when we arrive to this index we know these uh, counts for every uh, digit and by this uh, we can know by iterating over the digit from zero to uh, nine uh, and using the count we can know how many a new pattern of uh, the form x and 0 uh, can be added to the prefix uh, table so for example here uh, we have the 0 and we have two ones so we know there are two new one zeros and so we add 2 to uh, prefix of uh, this index of uh, pattern 0 2 and for for example we know that there is uh, 1 3 and we are at 0 so we know that there is a new 3 z 3 0 subsequent so we add 1 to our uh, table and the same way we do for prefix we do for suffix we but for suffix we iterate from right to uh, to left and the same we maintain the number of uh, digits so far let's look at the implementation uh, here are uh, the 3d vectors prefix and uh, suffix of shape n uh, digits is equal
equal to 10 10 10 the same for suffix and we have this uh, dict the vector to count uh, for each uh, digit and we iterate for from left to right for uh, to fill the prefix uh, value and uh, the current initially the current uh, item take the previous uh, value for all uh, digits then we need to check for every digit the count in uh, the count so far so that we can add it to our answer to form the pattern j x x is the current uh, number and j is the previous uh, digit we do this for all uh, the digits and after that we again uh, fill the count uh, to zero to reuse it for uh, the suffix table we do the same but we loop from the right to uh, the left now we have the prefix and suffix uh, tables ready so we need to loop over all uh, the elements from left to right and uh, we need to uh, find the number of uh, uh, permutations in uh, the left and the right so we need to loop over the digits twice to know zero zero one zero one one and we find the uh, suffix value and the prefix value and we add the multiplication to our uh, answer.